Oh, fuck. That is no good. I love you guys. I love my subscribers. Give me a high five, boy. All right, let's go get some of this awesome sushi. Oh, I found my people. Right next to the toilet. Exactly where you belong. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, man, that was close. What is up? Not a Grom fam. Back on the, wait, this isn't the bumpy road and wait, this isn't even my bike. Oh wait, actually it is. That's one of the things that, uh, well, you know, it's been a couple of months since I've made it a legit moto vlog. I made that video about the uh, KE100 yesterday, but as far as an actual moto vlog, I haven't made one in a while. And uh, it's because I took a job at a local Harley Davidson dealership. And let me just say, let me just say, that was the absolute worst job that I have ever had in my life. And I'm going to make a video about that too. I'm going to go into depth about um, how horrible that experience was, how horrible Harley Davidson as a corporation is. Um, that's that's going to be a very lengthy, very detailed video, probably 30 to 45 minutes long. So obviously I'm going to save that for a different day, probably when I'm just sitting at the house. But uh, today I'm riding with a subscriber on his new DRZ650. If, uh, if you've been a subscriber for a while, then you probably remember when we went riding with dirt bikes, probably about two years ago. And the guy on the blue Yamaha, that was this guy. He was uh, 16 at the time, now he's 18, and now he's got a real bike. And uh, I'm out on my new real bike. He actually hit me up uh, last night wanting to know if, uh, if I wanted to go ride today, and I was like, hell yeah. I mean, I haven't really been getting out of the house much because of the virus and all, and uh, I haven't really got to ride this bike very much. I mean, it's got 1,869 miles on it. I think it had like 1,800 on it when I bought it. So yeah, I've only put about 70 miles on it. <laughs> You can tell the difference between that 250 and that 650. For a 250, she's not bad, not bad at all. In fact, I've topped it out at 93 miles an hour, even with my fat ass on it. It is a 2017 Kawasaki KLX 250 Dual Sport. And she will get down for a 250. And it's a nice day, not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, when he hit me up last night, he's like, hey man, you wanna go, you wanna go ride in the morning? I, I got a new bike, it's a, uh, Finally, uh, finally got a street legal bike because, you know, he's on that dirt bike last time. We kind of took him on some back roads. Him and his buddy on that uh, on that two-stroke 80cc. Uh, I don't even remember what it was now, but it was pretty cool. Pretty cool little mini bike. But uh, of course, you know, they didn't have headlights or blinkers or any of that. So we pretty much had to stick to back roads and dirt roads and they were scared to get on any actual pavement. So this time I was like, well, we're gonna do some more back roading, but we're gonna do some back roading on some real roads. I do hope everybody out there is staying safe. Uh, you know, I've actually made the recommendation to especially a lot of new riders that you probably shouldn't be out riding a motorcycle right now, especially if you're not very skilled at it because this would be a truly horrible time to, uh, you know, to need to go to the hospital because more than likely you're going to end up in a hospital with somebody that's got COVID-19 and then uh, you're probably going to get COVID-19 and that would be a real, real, real bad deal on top of having a motorcycle accident. So, you know, I've been limiting my riding. Um, I, like I said, I've only put like 70 miles on this thing, but I have been getting out a little bit. The Z125 still has a flat tire on the back, so I haven't been riding it. Um, the Amazon rear sets, you know, I made that video for the Ninja 400 about the Amazon rear sets and uh, asked, you know, are they worth it? And of course, at the end of that video, I said, yes, I think that they are worth it. 
but uh, it turns out they're kind of not worth it because one day um, on my way home What's up? Uh, my phone's inside my pocket. It's about 12. Where does he want to meet at? Okay. Yeah, we'll just make a loop and then go back there. Alright. Okay, we'll just make a loop and go back. Apparently we're going to go uh, loop back to uh, to the Love's Truck Stop where we met up at. And uh, he's got a friend that wants to come ride with us that apparently is a subscriber and wanted to, wanted to meet up and take part in a group ride. So we're going to loop back, but we're going to take a little bit longer route because uh, I want to go down... I want to go down a dirt road. That's the one thing I love about this bike. You know, like, yeah, you can go down a dirt road on the Z125, especially if you've got knobbies on it, but it's still still pretty sketch, pretty sketch. Whereas I've gone down this dirt road, we're about to go down a few times on this bike, and it's like driving a Cadillac. Like, it's wonderful. Anyways, what I was saying just a minute ago, uh, before he rolled up was uh, you know I got those Amazon rear sets for the Ninja 400 and I said that they were pretty good but mm, mm, not so great in the long run um, because I was on my way home from work one day and uh, just normal riding I wasn't riding aggressive or anything I was kind of back roading it a little bit but I mean you know I wasn't riding hard and uh, I felt something funny about the shifter and like it just felt weird and then I went to shift and the the end of it just broke off like the shifter like the little the little knob on the end just broke smooth off which really sucked because I was still about five miles from the house so I just had to like kind of like the lever was still there but the little you know the little doodad on the end fell off so um, or broke off so I just had to like like rub my foot up against it and uh you know basically like use my toe to like force it to shift and yeah it was it was not fun not fun at all <laughs> let's see check it like we're going 45 hell i mean if we want to get down we can get down in the dirt see i could never do that on the z125 like it would be so sketch Oh, I'm just, I'm just blowing dirt all over him, my bad. <laughs> Whoops. Just having too much fun playing in the dirt. I will say that uh, I have, like, really, like, grown to love dirt bikes and off-road bikes. Woo-hoo, that was a big hole. Dang, I felt that one in my booty. But, uh, I've really grown to love dirt bikes, off-road bikes, you know, dual sports. Um, you know, I had that KE 100, but I never really got a chance to ride it. And that was kind of like why I wanted this one. You know, it's a 2017, it's fuel injected, it runs really well. And I also got an extremely good deal on it. I mean, that's the only really good thing that came from working at Harley Davidson because it was a used trade in and, uh, they let me have it at like, I think, uh, I think I paid a hundred dollars more than they paid for it, which I got it for 3,800. Um, I mean, a 2017 with 1,800 miles on it, 3,800 is actually a really good deal. In fact, I've even like looked on Marketplace several times since I bought it, Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist, and I haven't been able to find one that was just as new, that had just as low a mileage that was cheaper. In fact, every single one I found that was similar, and most of them had more mileage than this one, were all like closer to five. Like 45, I think was the cheapest. So yeah, you know, I mean, I got it for about 700 bucks cheaper than what you could typically get one for. And I want to say our list price on it was uh, was 49.50. But they knew I was a Kawasaki guy, and uh, they were trying to get as many bikes out the door as possible that particular week because it was like the last week of the month or whatever. And so you know, they were trying to get their numbers high. So they didn't care letting it go for less. To an employee at the time and hopefully the audio is okay today because uh 
Well, it's been so long since I made a video, you know, and I haven't really been selling a whole lot of hell mics, so I haven't made any in a while, and the one that I used to use all the time is missing in action. I have no clue where it is. So this is actually a hell mic 2.1 that I'm using, one of the ones from like two years ago. So I don't know if it's gonna be as clear as the, uh, as the newer, the 4.0, but uh, hopefully it'll be all right. I think it'll be okay. I mean, I made a lot of videos with it. <laughs> Payback, huh? Payback. All right, all right. I got you. I got you. We're almost out of the dirt anyway. But, you know, I've been talking about this bike, this uh, KLX 250, but nobody's seen it yet. You've seen the, you know, you've seen my perspective of it. So, uh, but we... Uh, have a little walk around real quick and you can see my new bike and his new bike up close and personal I have to catch up to him <laughs> you like that car horn don't you so what year model is this 20 all right so it's a brand new 2020 suzuki dr650 dual sport and it is sweet i really like that color scheme for sure it was funny though uh, the guy who sold it to me up at the shop we went down to paris to get it the guy who sold it to me told me he was going to buy it within two weeks <laughs> he was mad that he uh, didn't get to buy it, but... Yeah, well, I mean, this one, the day it came in, I was like, I want it. It's a little bit dirtier right now, but it cleans up nice. In fact, I've got some really nice pictures that I took right here on this road that I will plug right here. bike ever gone on one wheel? Not with me on it. <laughs> one minute, 37 seconds later. Oh shit! Holy fuck! You good, dude? Hang on, hang on. Just let it down, let it down. Let me help you. That's beautiful. <sighs> yep, you gonna need new bars, bro. Yeah, go ahead and kill it. Damn. I think it's just your bars, man. Oh, no, it's not just my bars. Oh. Mm -hmm. My dad's gonna kill me. Oh, shit, where'd my mirror go? Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh. Uh, uh. Bar end and all. Yep. Looks like the mirror survived though. Hey, as long as the mirror survived. It's a pretty good mirror. <laughs> well, that was wild and uh, disappointing. I, I really feel bad for him, I really do. I mean, that's a brand new bike and the ironic thing was we were, you know, we just stopped and took some pictures and he was like, we should go, uh, we should go wash them. And so we were about to go to his girlfriend's house to borrow a couple of dollars so that we could get some change because I didn't have any cash and all he had was a $100 bill. 
So we were about to ride up to Texarkana to his girlfriend's house and get some cash so we could uh, get some quarters and go to the car wash and wash both bikes and go take some photos and uh, he did, uh, yeah, well, you got to see that. And uh, he's a good sport about it. He's, uh, he's obviously a little upset, but he's not hurt. That's the important part. He didn't hurt himself. You know, it's just the bike. The bars are bent up a little bit. Um, the brakes are a little bent up. The bars are really bent. I, should, I say a little bit. They're, they're really bent. I don't know what Suzuki was thinking putting those bars on that bike because they are very weak. I mean, I understand that that's a heavy bike, but I mean, if you look at those bars, you, you'll get to see them. We're, we're fixing to ride up to, to my house and uh, spray it off with the water hose because it's covered in mud and uh, try to assess the damage. But the bike seems to be running okay. Um, he's just, uh, you know, it's kind of been up on that side pretty good. So far as I could tell, and of course we're going to have to watch the video to really see. I mean, dang, it was, uh, I can't believe, I, like I had just, you know, I'm, I'm always talking about how I never have my camera or never have my camera on when something crazy happens. And that particular instance, I just happened to turn it on. I just turned it on and I was about to say, well, we're about to go over to his girlfriend's house and get some change and go wash our bikes and take some pictures. And right before I could even like get the first word out of my mouth, like I saw what happened and oh man, like my heart sank instantly. Which of course the first thing on my mind was, is he okay? And once I figured out he was okay, then I was like, all right, well, how bad is the boy? Cause that didn't look very good. <laughs> so far as I can tell, and after talking to him about it, you know, he popped the wheelie and he come up a little bit too far and he was covering his brake. But the problem is, is that, <laughs> I guess he hasn't learned anything. <laughs> but uh, that, uh, that bike has dual sport tires on it. You know, they're like 70, 30, 70% street, 70% <laughs> street, 30% off-road. And um, they just don't handle as well as the knobbies do on this bike. And even though we we're on pavement, there's a lot of loose gravel just sitting on top of that, on top of that pavement. And so when he popped the wheelie, he came up a little too high. And like I said, he was covering his brakes. So he hit the brake, you know, his rear brake with his foot and the tires slid out from under him. That's that, that's what happened. I mean, it, you know, realistically, like he didn't do anything wrong in terms of what he was doing. It was just where he was doing it. And, and the funny thing is, is we were just talking like before we got on the bikes, after we talked about where we we're gonna go and everything about how much those tires on his bike suck. Like, oh, there's a lot of grass right there. You're a dick, bitch. Fucking asshole! Oh, that shit fucking annoys me. Anyway, as I was saying, those tires are just, uh, even though they're sort of off-road looking tires, they are definitely not off-road tires. And uh, that was really, that was really the problem there. Bike seems to be riding just fine though. So maybe, maybe we can get back to the house and uh, I don't know, put a pry bar on it or something and bend those bars back out. I wish I had some spares. All right, well, we're almost back to my house. We are on the bumpy road right now, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this here, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll cut back to probably some, some of my iPhone footage when we get it back to the house and get it cleaned up and kind of assess the damage, so we will be back. Bloop. Cleaned up, it doesn't look too bad. I think it's really just the bars. But you can see where that thing just creased. Um, everything else looks okay. The brakes still work. The throttle still works. Um, it's not even, the paint's not even scratched. So, I mean, I think it turned out okay. The only thing is, it's just the bars and uh, the fender. I broke this and bent up the license plate pretty good. Cracked this. But other than that, I think he did pretty good. I mean, you know, bars are like 60, 70 bucks and uh, that fender might cost 30 or 40 or he could just eliminate it for a hundred this might be a little scratched up but yeah those are inexpensive to replace the good thing is is the engine didn't take any damage 
and uh, the pegs didn't take any damage. The brake didn't even take any damage. It's still good. So I think it turned out pretty good. Hell, even the blinker survived. All right, so it doesn't look that bad. Like I said in the uh, in the iPhone footage, you know, after we got it all cleaned up, it, the damage isn't bad. It's really primarily just the bars and then that little uh, license plate holder on the back. There's a little reflector that was above that that broke off. So uh, probably like a hundred bucks, hundred bucks to fix it. No big deal. His biggest deal is, is his dad helped him get the bike because uh, he got into college, got into the college that he wanted to go to. And so it was kind of like a, you know, a gift uh, for that. So he's worried that his dad's going to be extremely upset. And I just told him, you know, like, hey, man, you know, it's a motorcycle. These kinds of things happen. You know, he just has to accept that. You know and you know he's your dad like he's just gonna be happy that you're not hurt I'm sure he'll be upset a little bit about the bike but the fact that you're okay is gonna be his number one concern you know just 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 own up to it like there's, there's no point in trying to hide it from him you know uh, that's really just the best thing that he can do so and obviously the bike is still riding fine I mean like I said even the paint wasn't scratched or the, the engine case wasn't scratched or anything like that so it's really just just the bars and and that little license plate doohickey so I offered to follow him home just to make sure he makes it home okay and uh, the bike makes it and everything and he's just gonna you know he's gonna deal with it his dad uh, gets off work here in about two hours so he just wants to get it home and get it parked where he can't see it so he can talk to him about it before he sees it so uh, I'm just assisting him with that. <laughs> oh, he's gonna learn one day. To be honest, I think what he's trying to do is I think he's trying to pop it up and set it down hard so he can bend the bars back. Did you get it down a little bit? That looks a lot better. God, there's water pouring out of the handlebar. <laughs> I gotta let her see it first real quick. Okay. <laughs> He's got a shovel. Oh, he had a shovel. That didn't happen. <laughs> Oh man, this day. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely going home after this. <laughs> All right, well that was a pretty wild adventure. I was actually gonna shut the video off uh, on our way down 82 and ended up, uh, I don't know, things were just, things just kept getting more interesting. It's just one of those days. It's just one of those days. But anyways, like I said, I'm going to go get me a six pack of beer and head to the house and play some video games and I don't know, it just seems like there's some bad juju in the air. Maybe I should stay off a motorcycle for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh man, well I'm just glad he's okay and he's in good spirits about it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully his dad doesn't give him too hard of a time, but uh, you guys know the drill. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Peace! She was totally looking at my bike. Totally. Yeah, I know. It's sexy. I know. I look at it every day. It's okay. I understand. I don't want to be in it. It's too late. I don't want to be in it. Mikey doesn't want to be in it, but he's in every video. Huh? Much better. Don't make fun of being crooked. I know it's crooked. That means we're about to do the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Don't think too much about making videos, not about where I'm going. Don't do that. It's a bad idea.